All right. Well, it's my pleasure for this edition of In the Box presented by Voorhees to chat with great Blue Jacket, Manny Malhotra. Manny, it's so good to see you, man. How are things going? Things are going well. Always great to see you too, Jody. You, uh, since the last time we saw you in a Blue Jackets uniform, a lot has gone on. Uh, you're now an assistant coach for the Toronto Maple Leafs. How did you get to that point and what's this journey been like? Uh, well, after leaving Columbus, I wore a few more jerseys. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, played in a couple more stops. Um, so enjoyed every one of them, really. Um, you know, with the evolution of life, got married, had kids. Um, and along along my playing journey, you know, I as you do, you start to think about life after hockey. What do you want to do? And, you know, the, the thought of um, being away from the game didn't really interest me. And uh I think it was, it kind of started in my time in Columbus uh, playing for Hitch um, that this, the seed of wanting to coach was kind of planted. I, I always enjoyed learning the game, understanding the game and playing for Hitch. Um, there was kind of a, a moment where, you know, he, he said in a meeting, I'm going to give you the why. I'm going to give you the why as to what we're doing in this system. And for me at that point, it kind of clicked like, Oh, when, when you give me the understanding of what we're trying to do, it allows me to think on my own. And I really appreciated that. I really enjoyed that. And and from that point on, I just kind of found myself being more observant as to what was going on, how systems were being played. I was more attentive in video sessions. And um, it got me to the point where, you know, I I really enjoyed that aspect of the game. So uh, when I was finished playing, uh, I had an opportunity with Vancouver to, to take on a player development type assistant coaching role and I, I really enjoyed it and, and ha- the fact that Vancouver was home base it made perfect sense for me so uh, I was able to dip my toe in the water that year and then from there it just kind of blossomed and grew uh, and uh, to the point where um, you know I, I had the opportunity to become an assistant coach this year so uh, it's been a it's been a long journey uh, a lot of learning along the way and continue to learn uh, to this day but that's kind of the, the path that I took I guess. Well, that's awesome. And, and coaching isn't easy. I mean, there's a lot. Never, I don't think it ever stops. So how do you balance that with the family life? Uh, it, it's difficult. Like you said, it, it doesn't stop. It, there's constantly learning. There's the evolution of the game. There's, there's um, pre-scouts and understanding what teams are doing. Um, so it's a constant – it's a 24-hour-a-day job kind of thing. Um, you know, definitely do – make the effort that when I am home with the kids uh, and my wife, that it's, it's home time. And I, and I'm make a conscious effort to be present in that time, no phones, no computers, and just enjoy family life. Do you ever chuckle and look back at some of the coaching experiences that maybe you encountered or some of the players that, you know, probably with a lot of skill and could have played today, but if only the coach had taken the time to understand and maybe give them more of an opportunity. I mean, I think it's a retired, maybe it's a retired guy thing, but you always look back and think, man, if this guy got a chance or, you know, if that guy had a chance on a power play or this opportunity, boy, he could have played a lot, long time in the NHL. You ever look back at that and think about that and look at the guys you're dealing with now? Um, a little bit in the sense, like you said, it's the, the retired guy mentality. That yeah. was, what if, what, what could I have been? What could this guy have been? Yeah. Um, but the one thing you learn really quickly as a coach um, from that teaching aspect is that everybody learns different. You know, some guys uh, you need to be hard on. Some some guys just need to see the video. Some guys just need a little pat on the back. Some guy, you know, everybody learns the game differently. And, you know, it, it is very dependent on the type of coach you have at the time um, and where you are in your career that can kind of propel you in the right direction or steer you in the right direction, or for some guys it steered them in the wrong direction. Um, so it very much is a situation of being in the right place, the right time with the right people. Uh, but yeah, there, there's definitely an art to knowing the guy's personalities and understanding them and using the right methodology with the right person. Well, what's the greatest, I guess, satisfaction or where do you get your juice from as a coach? Uh, I think that that's part of it. It's, it's a, it's a constant evolution, uh, understanding your players and just learning the game and seeing it through different people's eyes. And 
I've had the opportunity to work with some really good coaches thus far in my career and the way they see the game and the way you talk about the game. It's amazing how, you know, you and I could both look at the same clip and see two completely different things, or we, we pick out different parts of the play. Um, so that for me is, is really exciting just to, to get people's take on what they see on the ice. Manny, you were a, a smart player, a great teammate. And when you think of the Columbus Blue Jackets and your time here in Columbus, uh, what jumps out to you in your memories? Uh, the biggest thing for me, I get, well, there's two things. Um, I think the evolution of the team, you know, when I, when I arrived, we were obviously going through some thin years, some, um, some building years. Um, and, you know, seeing the team grow year by year, getting a little bit better, a few more points every year. And then my final year making the playoffs was, uh, was a huge kind of step for the organization. I felt, um, it was great to see the, everybody always talks about how Columbus is such a great sports town and you saw it firsthand there, the, the energy and the electricity in the building, the fans were just ravenous that year. It was, it was unbelievable experience. And that brings me to my second point. Um, one of my favorite parts about Columbus and, and Joe and I still talk about it to this day is the people that we encountered there. Um, whether it be neighbors, obviously teammates and, and, and families that were there, but um, neighbors, season ticket holders, arena staff, guards at the rink. Um, there's just so, so many quality people that we encountered there. Uh, just made living in Columbus and being a part of the Blue Jackets such a great experience. You know, it's so awesome. I mean, I, I remember you as a great teammate. Now you're a coach in the National Hockey League, an assistant coach. And, and your family's growing up probably way too quickly, like mine. What are they into now? What are your kids into? Are they into sports, activities? Uh, how do you stay busy? Um, well, there's no shortage of being busy in my house. We have uh, <laughs> three boys and a little girl now. So, yeah, there's a lot of sports going on. Uh, the boys are into uh, hockey, baseball, football, soccer. Uh, my daughter's just getting into some dance stuff now. Um, she's four, so just the activities are just starting for her, but um, yeah, there's, we have the whiteboard in the house and it's constantly full color coded. Each kid has his own activities. And, um, yeah, that's, that's definitely been uh, a lot of fun for me just being a dad and, and watching my kids grow up. And, uh, I, I really enjoyed seeing them become, you know, little personalities growing up and developing their likes and dislikes. And, uh, yeah, they're a lot of fun at home. No, I'm sure you're a great role model, and, and uh, it's got to be a lot of fun for you, Manny. And I remember you were a pretty good dancer, so you're probably helping your daughter with that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's so great to see you. Thanks for taking your time here in the box, presented by Voorhees. We wish you nothing but the best, and say hello to your family from us here in Columbus. Will do. Thanks. Great to see you.